I get a tall iced matcha green tea latte with soy milk? Hi guys, so as you can tell, I'm back again with the end of the video and today's video is super exciting. I'm finally filming a high school advice video. I remember being in like middle school looking at these videos and just watching them because I was so excited to go into high school and it was like this mysterious place that I was gonna be spending four years of my life at. I just wanted to like know everyone's experience. So now that I've graduated, I graduated in May, it is now July. I feel like I've had time to process things. I feel like being out of high school now gives me like a better perspective to film this video. That's why I waited until I graduated. So obviously high school is like four years long and I don't want to like compile all of it into one video because you mature a lot and like the advice is just different so i'm going to do an underclassman video and then an upperclassman so freshman sophomore is going to be what this video is about so i have advice for three different sections of life i have an academic social and then personal and i have five points for each of those i didn't even plan that out like i was just magically organized in my thoughts so before i get into all of the tips and like just advice i have i just want to give you a little bit of like personal backstory to see where i'm coming from freshman year i knew absolutely no one everyone says they're like oh my gosh i went to a new high school like i didn't know anyone but like i knew actually no one because middle school i lived in germany like i say this in all my videos because it actually pertains to like my situation and i moved back to texas and i moved to a different part of texas so i didn't know anyone like when i was going to school and everyone just kind of thought i was from like the other school across town so like there are different middle schools that like fed into my high school so they're like oh if i don't know her she's probably just from xyz school or like from this school and it was kind of hard to make friends that way because people already like clicked out have an idea of what high school is going to be like and you're like oh it's going to be like the movies like there's going to be different cliques there's going to be like parties and stuff like that and games and honestly like that's true in some senses but it's not that's not how it is like high school is very real like there's real people involved it's not just all about fun and like games and you're just a little baby like you don't really know what you're doing yet so here i am to help you out i'm gonna start off with academics because you're in high school for your academics like let's be honest like social life and all that is important but you're in high school for academics high school is literally just preparation for college if we're gonna be frank my first point is take honors classes even if you don't feel like you're smart enough to do it or you don't want to you just don't even want to push yourself freshman year is the easiest year of high school so you don't want to just get set into this routine of taking easy classes especially in the easiest year of high school you should just branch out take those harder class harder classes because they're still not going to be like extremely difficult the classes that are available to freshmen like pre-ap and i guess there's like a couple ap classes that you could take as a freshman they're not going to be as challenging as the ones you're going to have to take when you're older they're like a sophomore junior or senior but yet they have the same like extra waiting so taking those honors classes or pre-ap ap whatever you want to say while you're a freshman will not only prepare you for those ap classes that you're going to take when you get older but it's going to boost your gpa you want to start off at a really nice high point so when you do start slipping up because it's going to happen as you get older and your classes get harder and stuff that you're not going to just automatically like drop and become like last in your class to my next point which is get some good study habits get a routine um personally freshman year i didn't study that much just because i wasn't really challenged by my classes i use that as a time to just kind of figure out what worked for me it's kind of like deciding if you want to use quizlet or if you want to use like real flashcards or listening to audio like helps you or making visual like one pagers helps you with a lot of colors and stuff like that it's easy to get wrapped up in like high school life and just want to get involved in like social stuff but you need to like get a routine that involves school and getting your schoolwork done first because your routine is only going to get worse throughout high school i swear and you don't want to find like good study habits that work for you second semester senior year when you could have been implementing those from the beginning of freshman year that leads me to my third point which is communicate with your teachers and just those around you and i say learn how to do that freshman year even though like records and stuff won't come until later you're gonna need like advice and just tips and you're gonna need help throughout high school you don't need a teacher to be your best friend you need to learn how to talk to your teachers even if it's just for academics what you learn freshman year needs to go into your long-term memory it's gonna be the basis of not only the rest of your high school classes but it's gonna be the stuff that is centered most on like standardized testing like the SAT and ACT so if you don't understand those basic concepts freshman year it's just gonna get worse for you so understanding what you're learning that year is extremely important so definitely talk to your teachers learn how to be comfortable communicating with them i feel like that's something i kind of struggled with i started off on a high point with some teachers some teachers i just made no connection to and it's just it's hard to 
see that teacher again the next year and then try to build a relationship all of a sudden when they're like, I knew you last year and you didn't even want to talk to me. So there's some teachers where I wasn't able to try and work on time or something like that or I forgot my homework, but they knew that I was a good student. So I would tell them like, oh my gosh, I literally forgot my homework. Though. I'm so sorry. And they wouldn't think I was lying or something because I had communicated with them before I was, they were familiar with me. My fourth point is to get involved for me, that was a really big thing just because I moved to a whole different country, a whole different like school district where I didn't know anyone and getting involved is not only good for, again, college applications, but it's good for your mental health and like making friends. That's the main way you're going to make friends. Of course, in your classes and stuff, you can talk to the people that you sit next to, but getting involved in like clubs, activities, stuff like that is how you're going to make friends. Personally, I joined, I tried out for the volleyball team and I made the team um during the summer it was like right before school started about a month before school started we had tryouts and then we had practice and all that and that's how i met a couple of my friends before school even started and then they introduced me to their friends and then i had someone to sit with on the first day and then i joined basketball and i made more friends that way and then summary i did track and that's how i made some of my best friends and it's easy to like bond over like common struggling <laughs> and like when you're in pain during a workout or something it's just so easy to like make friends that way in sports you're forced to talk to the people around you even in clubs and stuff there's activities where you can get along with other people and it's a great way to like meet people if you have a common interest of course it can it can be kind of hard to put yourself out there but it's freshman year so if you embarrass yourself like literally everyone's embarrassing freshman year like just the way you look freshman year it's going to be embarrassing when you look back on it so just put yourself out there take a risk and like really try to make friends because you won't regret it if someone rejects you like who cares like they're rude and if a friendship doesn't work out that's okay because you're not gonna have the same friends all of high school my fifth point about that involves academics is start getting an idea of where you want to go to college i know it seems so early like freshman sophomore year but you don't want to wait until junior senior year when your grades are pretty much set um and everyone else around you is starting to apply to colleges and you're just like i don't know what i want to do it's easy to start taking classes and get involved in activities and stuff that relate to your major and like what you want to do in college so that you can mention that on your college applications and it's like doing that while you're younger gives you an opportunity to like get leadership when you get older as well so you definitely want to like have an idea of what type of school you want to go to like what you want to major in even if it's not like oh i want to be an architect even though i knew from like eighth grade that i wanted to be an architect I still like explored other stuff and I took like interior design classes and art classes and design. It was just kind of like test out the waters and see what I was interested in. And that's something that's super easy to do freshman and sophomore year because you have a lot of time to grow from that. If that makes sense, you still have senior, junior, senior year to get those leadership positions to finalize like what you want to do. But I say definitely explore and just get an idea in your mind. Start thinking of ideas. And it's also a time to like start thinking about summer jobs and like talking to your parents about paying for college because if you start saving from freshman year, you're always going to have more money than if you started saving the beginning of senior year. And after, I mean, a lot of people turn 16 sophomore year or like the summer after sophomore year or going to junior year. So that's a good time to start getting a job and just start talking to your parents about how you want to do that and like how far they want you to go to college, who's gonna pay for it, how we're gonna save up, stuff like that. Okay, on to the fun part, I guess, is social. I just wanna say that reputation does matter in high school. You don't wanna start your high school career with a bad reputation because that honestly will stick with you. If you're meeting new people and they already have an idea of who you are in their mind, it's gonna be a lot harder for them to change that. I wanna say don't gossip, don't be messy freshman year. I know a couple of people that said stuff freshman year and that has impacted the way I think about them and the way I view them, their character as an actual person to this day. And it just kind of showed me like, oh, that's who you are. I'm not going to stay around you. Like, I'm not going to associate with you because I don't want, I don't want other people thinking I'm like that. And I don't want to be influenced by your, your habits. Of course, you're going to have moments where you need to spill, you need to talk, you need to like gossip in a sense but talking trash is different from venting let's be honest if you have something to say that isn't the nicest and you want to tell it to someone make sure you have the guts to say that to the actual person even senior year i was dealing with people who just i felt like they were so immature and it's just like why are you talking about someone like that like would you say that to their face if you're gonna talk about someone you never know who is listening so just you don't want to be known as that messy girl and upperclassmen hear stuff teachers will hear what you're talking about high school's gonna end and you gotta have a plan for what you're gonna do after and you just want to like build your character while you're young and just get on a good track because the person you start to become freshman and sophomore year can easily like 
turn out to be a bad person you can easily go down the wrong path so you just want to be on the right track with friends wise that kind of leads me to my next point which is just stay on track um character wise just be a good person be a trustworthy kid um when you go out with your friends text your parents tell them where you are make sure that you're not lying to them and just being a a, a sneaky kid because as you get older you're gonna get more freedom if they see that you're trustworthy if you break your trust with your parents while you're young what what makes you think that they're gonna trust you to get you a car when you turn 16 or allow you to go out more when you're like even 17 18 because it starts when you're young and if you build trust then you'll have it when you get older my third point is go to the games freshman year it's so it's so easy to get involved that way because it's exciting and that's the best time to go is when it's fun and fresh like when you get older stuff like that gets a little bit jaded like i go to homecoming freshman year i went senior year that's the only one i went to and it was okay but i feel like as if i went as a freshman i would have enjoyed the actual activity more and like getting someone's parents to take you to like a high school game is a lot easier to do than asking them to take you to like I don't know the mall or something like that since it's it's something that's considered like safer and it's just a fun activity to do my next point is if you see someone that you think you like reach out to them you don't want to meet the pe your people senior year like that happened a lot with me is like i met people that i really really clicked with like later on in high school and it just kind of sucked because it's like where were you all of high school like you could have made this experience so much better so if you see someone who like dresses cool like compliment them if you like see someone in your class that you really just vibe with reach out to them and waiting until like you're older to finally click with people just kind of sucks because you missed out on so many memories that could have been made if you had reached out to that person earlier my last social point is high school is clicky um i guess it kind of depends on where you go but where i went so i just want to say don't trap yourself into one group personally i had like different friend groups for different things i had my track group i had my like school friends my like lunch table group just because you make new friends doesn't mean you have to like burn bridges with other ones some people that i met like freshman sophomore year i kind of like dipped out and didn't really talk to them junior year then i came back and we're like best friends senior year just because you don't like constantly connect with people doesn't mean you have to burn bridges because you're definitely gonna have to go back to them for help you may have a group project with them you may like miss them later on like my sophomore year was super turbulent and i just didn't get discouraged like i kept like putting myself out there and i made so many so many friends um, second semester sophomore year when I finally like got rid of like toxic people people come into your life for a reason I don't regret any of the friendships I had um, I would say don't burn bridges unless it's absolutely necessary like freshman year sophomore year I definitely burned some bridges um, but that was necessary because it, it was damaging my character and the person that, who I wanted to become in general try to keep it open try to just be open as a person when you meet new people go into it with a good clean mindset don't go into it with wanting something from them if you only want to be friends with someone because of their status or you only want to be friends with them because they can get you free concert tickets like that's kind of messed up so just be honest in your friendships and be a true friend don't burn bridges when friendships don't go well that leads me to my last section which is personal advice i just want to say be nice to your parents because you're gonna miss them so much even as you get older you you just realize like how much they do for you and freshman year it feels like oh my god you're like limiting me like i just want to go out like sally's mom wants to go out they're trying to do their best and protect you and you have parents for a reason so just be nice to them my second point is if you have older siblings and friends ask them for advice they know what teachers are better they know how to study for certain tests they may even have like extra work to help you like review they may have study guides already prepared for you it's good to have people that are older than you to just kind of share that experience with and like guide you my third point is it's okay to experiment um get out there do new things meet new people push yourself try new things because it's an easy time to experiment you're still finding yourself it's still early in high school if you want to change yourself senior year that's cool too but it's a lot easier to just experiment freshman and sophomore year so you can really find like where you fit in and find like what you're good at you're gonna need to like push your boundaries when you're going to new clubs and joining sports and stuff like that you're not gonna want to try out for that same team when you're a senior like, you're gonna be a lot older at that point and people are gonna be like set in their ways and it's a lot easier to like get better at stuff when you're younger but don't do things that like truly upset you like if you really don't want to join a sports team don't do it like you don't have to there's other ways to make friends like i said like clubs outside of school activities and stuff my fourth point is don't center your life around your friends freshman sophomore year it can seem like that's all that matters you need to step back and like think about yourself sometimes like is it really healthy that you're gonna go out instead of getting enough sleep or is it really healthy that you're always worrying about your friends problems and they're always venting to you but they don't listen to you back like you need to really put yourself ahead of other people because you're still young and you don't want to get in the habit of like 
not taking care of yourself. So it's important to be alone every now and then to reevaluate your priorities. And my last point is it's only four years. So it's only four years if you're lucky and like don't get held back or something. So don't waste your time feeling bad. Try that new sport. You, you don't want to regret it when you get older. Um, and if it sucks, just like end it. You don't need to be unhappy as an underclassman. Like there's literally no reason when you're that young. So just keep an eye on the future. Know that things will get better if you don't feel the best. But take it easy and like enjoy the easy life because getting older gets harder. Junior, senior year are a lot more challenging than freshman, sophomore year. But freshman and sophomore year is a lot about like just molding you as a person who you want to become. So I say take your time, have fun, and just enjoy it. Enjoy your early years of high school. But if you're already stressed out and you're already like on edge and stuff, it's only four years. You'll get through it. And that's that's pretty much all I have to say. I hope my advice like wasn't all over the place. I feel like there were some good points in there. Some of it was a little bit redundant, but what can I say? It's been a long time since I was a freshman, sophomore. Freshman, junior, senior year were all pretty much equal except for sophomore year. Sophomore year sucks. So shout out to all y'all um, sophomores or soon to be sophomores. Uh, I'll pray for y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a great school year and see you guys again in my next video.